What's up guys? Welcome to this week's video. We are going to do yet another Dutch oven video. This is going to be an easy one, but one that tastes so tasty. Divine. Mountain man breakfast. Last time we did a dinner. We made enchilada. This recipe is super, super easy, and it doesn't take very long to cook. Let's do this! Let's do it! So the actual recipe that we are following, it says to use a two pound bag of hash browns. We had some potatoes already, so we decided to use them because we didn't want them to go to waste. So you can do either. The only thing I'd say is if you're using potatoes, make sure and cut them super small, that way they cook a lot quicker. So in my opinion, the best part in a mountain man breakfast is the cheese because it just blends everything together and it makes it so yummy. The recipe calls for about two cups, but honestly, just do as much as you want. I think that the best thing about Dutch oven is that you can have your recipe that gives you kind of the general idea of what you're supposed to do. There's no right or wrong. You can just do whatever you want and I'm sure it'll turn out good. Like if you want more cheese, do it. And there's no right or wrong. We're gonna throw in the sausage and the onions, let those cook for a little bit, and then we're gonna throw in the potatoes. And sausage and onions, those only take probably five, 10 minutes, and then the potatoes stay in there for about 20 minutes. And all the grease from the meat is gonna help get everything nice and crispy for us. So once your meat and your onions are fairly cooked, you wanna put your potatoes in. So we'll throw them in. This is where you're gonna be happy that you cut them small because they won't take as long to cook. And every few minutes, every like five minutes, just stir it up, move them around, and then you should be good. You just wanna keep checking on it. We're gonna do about 12 eggs. 18, 18 eggs. <laughs> I'm gonna be here forever. We were originally gonna go and do this up in the mountains, but it has been raining like all crazy. week long. And then, even today, in the morning and the afternoon, it was raining, but right now, it's perfect. like, perfect. But all the wood is gonna be wet anyways. Yeah, so, we and decided to just stay at home, do it in the backyard. So I've been stirring it every few minutes, just because we have a lot of coals on the bottom. And I don't want it to burn, but it smells good. What do you think? Smells great. Yeah. Okay, so this is probably the most important thing to remember. You wanna make sure all your potatoes and meat and everything are cooked because once you put the eggs in, those cook so fast that if you put them in while the potatoes are still hard, you're gonna be eating hard potatoes. All our meat and stuff is cooked. The potatoes are nice and soft, so we're gonna pour the eggs in. All right, so it is done cooking and it looks divine. It smells divine. Obviously, if we say it's good, it doesn't mean much. So we got some people to give us a second opinion. It smells fantastic. That, that looks good. Kay. Perfect. I think it's great. I think it's the right mix of, let's see, cheese and sausage, it yep. sounds like, yep. and potatoes. <laughs> sounds like it tastes like. <laughs> sounds like deliciousness to my ears. Mm, that's so good, oh my gosh. <laughs> so something that I just thought of that would be super good is you get all this and then you get tortillas and make breakfast burritos out of it. You can do either. I think it'd be super good yeah. as a breakfast burrito. I concur. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like Dutch oven and hit that big red subscribe button. See you next time.